all of these systems run separately. So they're connected together, but this will be picking and stacking whilst that's bringing material, taking it away, whilst the laser is cutting for absolute maximum efficiency. I'm always impressed by the laser technology from Prima Power. We've come to the Prima Power factory here in Finland to have a look at some amazing automation technology. But first of all, we're in front of the Laser Genius Plus as part of a big automated system. Barry, what is so special about the laser technology from Prima Power? So this is our latest laser model, 2D flatbed laser, fiber laser, of course. Um, and this is a gantry architecture machine with a very, very high accuracy, very high performance, uh, fully adaptive head with even elements of artificial intelligence in it, um, basically able to adapt itself to different material thicknesses, different material types, produce a, at a high rate of uh, output um, with a great degree of technology and um, accuracy and part quality. Okay. And Prima Power are well known for their super high-tech laser, laser machinery, which is normally going to be making parts really, really quickly. So normally, what do you need to attach to it? So basically, what we've got here, the design of this particular machine allows us to automate it more easily. It is a very narrow machine with all of the ancillaries built into it. What we've got on the right-hand side of me is a tower system that can load and unload the machine. Um, so basically, raw material sheets are in the cassettes, as you can see there. And there's loads. You've got a huge stack just there in that cassette Absolutely, up there. Absolutely, yeah. It's more stacked up there. Yeah, that could even be one of our night train systems or connected to the night train system. The idea is the raw materials are brought to the pallet changer, brought into the machine that then does the processing and returns the part, pallet with the parts uh, and the material skeleton all as one, ready to either go back into storage or onto another process. And the part we stood in front of here is basically for loading and unloading the cassettes from the system. And this is a really efficient way of storing lots of different uh, kinds of sheets and also the finished uh, the finished in inverted commas components, because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they're not quite finished, are they? You, once they're cut out, they need to be removed out of that sheet somehow. Of course, yeah, yeah. And this is where our PSR technology, picking and stacking robot, really comes in. So this is now complementing the tower. It's complementing the laser by being able to physically remove the parts from the process sheet. So wait, before we talk about how this system works, what would normally happen? You might have some automation on your laser, um, and you've got good parts coming out of the sheet, but they need to be processed by a person normally without, uh, without this, don't yeah, they? Yeah. yeah, so normally the sheet uh, would come out of the machine and somebody's got to pick that up and remove the parts from it. Whether they're going to use a magnet to pick up thicker materials or physically get hold of the sheet and shake the parts out. They've got to do, I guess they're wearing gloves, they've got to shake, yeah, yeah, shake yeah, the yeah. sheet. Yeah. That's manual handling, they've got to remove these parts from it. And that could be quite, for eight hours a day, that's a, that's a hefty yeah, job. Yeah, yeah, especially with thicker materials and, and bigger components. This takes away all of that. This is actually picking these parts up, removing them, and stacking them on. In this particular case, we have a table, but this could quite easily be a wagon system going in and out of the machine. So as the machine fills up a bed of materials, that can come out. The customer can take them away or put them onto the onward process. Another wagon is in here, and that's been stacked. All of these systems run separately. So they're connected together, but this will be picking and stacking whilst that's bringing material, taking it away, whilst the laser is cutting for absolute maximum efficiency. I guess and when you've got maximum efficiency on the laser side, the automation side, you need to make sure that you've not just got someone shaking out parts yes, frantically, yes, of course. trying yeah. to get parts out when you yeah. could actually automate that, that part. of. Uh, correct, correct. And that's exactly what this is doing. This is keeping the production flow going. This is bringing parts out, able to go on to the next part of the process, whether that's connected into it or whether it's a separate process entirely. That's exactly what this is designed to do. It removes that manpower element from it. And for customers who are looking at this and they think, well, I'd love to have this Barry, but right now I can only afford my operators uh, running laser, the laser machine, shaking parts out, taking them straight to a panel bender. I can't quite afford the whole system yet. How, what would you say to them? So again, just like everything else we do, it's modular. Uh, you can see when you look at the machines, they are all individual elements added to the machine to complement it, to improve its performance. So. The laser itself is a standalone machine. The customer can start with the laser. They can add the tower on at a later date. They can add the picking and stacking robot after that, or all at the same time. It's all about working with the customer so they can grow their business with us.